Here's our Mega Moto mini bike. Picked this up used here in town for a decent price and ordered a bunch of parts so we can get this thing back running. Funny thing is, as you can see, the front forks are bent back and the handlebars are way forward and all the controls are smashed up. So the guy I bought it from said that he was driving this thing at night, camping or something like that, going about 30 miles an hour and hit a rock. So I bent the forks back and he went flying over the handlebars. And yeah, that pretty much end his, ended his uh, fun on this thing. So I got new forks, new handlebars. We're going to put a Predator motor on here. I got a new seat for it and everything. But first, I'm going to take this thing to the car wash and get it sprayed out because it's pretty grody. You can see that they took the engine plate here and already modified it. So I think the Predator motor should fit right on there, hopefully. Uh, I guess we'll find out shortly. All right, so we got the Mega Moto mini bike up on the lift now, and all the parts laid out. GoPowerSports.com had a lot of these parts on sale, which is awesome. So I was able to get a fender kit, which came with these two guys, and then your chain guard pieces, the new front forks, all new handlebars with controls, seat. Uh, Replacement kickstand and number plate. This one has a kickstand on it, but the spring's missing and stuff, so it was only five bucks for that. So, figured why not? And then we got a this came from eBay, but we got a clutch and chain for it. So, I'm going to start with getting that front fixed. These forks are actually snapped, and then yeah, those handlebars are just way too far forward. So, that's where we're going to start. Alright, so we got the front forks off. Um, this bolt is kind of a pain. I just didn't tap it with a hammer to get it to come out. But here's the old forks. See how bent they are. And right, we'll get the other ones bolted on and then get this wheel and axle and everything swapped over to the new ones. Alright, so the new forks, handlebars, and everything are on. I kind of routed the cables just preliminarily. Um, and now I'm going to get the, the wheel and axle back on there. Swap out the kickstand. It currently has a kickstand, but there was no spring. And it's really loose, so I just paid five bucks. Got a new kickstand with spring and everything. Get that on there, and then, yeah, then I think we should be close to. No, well, then I'll probably do the seat. And then one of these Predator motors back here is what's going to go on here. And hopefully, how they modified the engine plate here is pretty ugly, but. Hopefully the Predator motor will line up with these here and then get the clutch and everything lined up with the rear sprocket. So let's get to it. All right, so we got the Predator motor out of its package. Uh, now looking at it, I'm curious if it's going to actually fit in there as is. I might have to buy one of the stage one kits who can replace the stock exhaust with just a header and the stock air box with just like a cone filter. Um, so there's not a whole lot of room here. So I'll see if I can get it in there and hopefully we can. So I finally got the motor to seat down in there. But you can see it's off to the side quite a bit. And I had to kind of take the frame in between the airbox and the exhaust there. So it looks like I should be able to bolt around there and get the clutch to line up. But I'm not a big fan of it. I still probably will get the stage one kit so that this can sit in there better. They also will offer a motor mount plate for this engine in here. I uh, might pick up, I'll have to check that one out. 
All right, so I pulled the motor back out. I wasn't really happy with how far over it was sitting. Um, so I think I'm gonna probably get that motor plate that they have, it puts it in the right orientation and everything, and order the stage one kit, which will replace this stock air box with just a cone filter that comes out, and then pull the stock exhaust off with the trumpet header, I believe it's what it's called, that just comes out, and then it'll actually come out and exit out here just above the the rear fender when that's in there um, so that will be another video because I have to order the parts hopefully they don't take two weeks to come in like the last round of parts um, but in that video I'll do the stage one kit on the Predator engine get the clutch put on it I've already ordered this, this is a little throttle plate that bolts on right there for my throttle linkage from OBM uh, warehouse so that'll get put on there and then one other thing I noticed is the brakes weren't actually like really slowing the wheel down or stopping it so I took the, the little caliper off and you can see in there it doesn't even have a brake pad on this side there's just the one there so I'll have to see if I can find some brake pads for this to actually be able to stop because it's pretty important when you got 212 cc's on this little tiny thing you definitely want to be able to stop all right, so we at least got the front end of this thing rebuilt so it can actually roll. Got the new kickstand on it. Um, but unfortunately, I do have to order some more parts. The, I'm going to go with the actual engine plate that's made for putting the Predator in this frame. And then i got to try to find some brake pads for the caliper. And then I'm going to do the Stage 1 kit, uh, which will be the, the trumpet header, the new intake, and most of them actually come with a couple of jets for the carburetor to jet it for uh, the better flow for intake and exhaust. So that's going to be it for this video. Um, thanks for watching. Um, if you're liking the content, go ahead and like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.